I hope you finished the project by yourself successfully. In case you have any questions, this is my solution of this project. Keep in mind that this is not the only solution, since there are many different ways to do the same job. This is the same slide from the last lecture showing the requirement of this project. I will show you how to finish this task by Python scripting. According to the flowchart, the first one is to manually create .txt file in LTSpice. First, go to the folder for this lecture. Open the schematic in LTSpice. Now we want to create the text file. Go to View, Spice Netlist. Right-click over your mouse. Choose Edit as Independent Netlist. Save as .cir file in the same directory. Go to File, Save As. Choose Text File and save in the same directory. Now you just created the text file. The rest of steps will be automatically finished by Python. Let me show you a quick demo first. Let's go to Spider for Python IDE. The first thing is to make sure you run this command first. Percent symbol manlab plot space qt. By run this command in the console, you will have a separate plot window so that you can save it as uh, image files. This is very important. After that, we can just hit run or F5 to run the whole program. It will finish everything based on the project requirement. Let's run the whole program. Different text files has been created under the same folder. Python is running LTSpice in the background in batch mode. And you can see raw data has been created one by one. If you go back to the Python console, you can see the status. There are 16 cases in total. Python is running matplotlib to create figures. Everything is just finished. We can go back to the folder and check the final result. Let's go to figure folder. And this is the plotted data for this project. Now let me go back to Spider and go over the Python code with you. Now let me remove all variables. This code is well organized and based on their functions, the code is divided into different cells. The first cell is to create a list of all file names. Each file has four RC parameters, R1, C1, R2, and C2. The name convention is R1 underline C1 underline R2 underline C2. The name is informative and self-explanatory. Also, the original R and C values in the original text files are defined here. Later, we will replace the original values in the text file by the new values and save as new text files for simulation in next steps. The second cell is straightforward. It will create a folder called same folder and define a variable called auric text, which is the original text file. In the third file, this is very important. It will replace the parameters in the original text file by different resistor and capacitor combinations and save as a new text file. We are using cascaded for loops to sweep over these four parameters. In the innermost for loop, we will run the newly created text files in LTSpice by the batch mode. When you are running the code, some information will be printed out in IPython console and show you the status. The last style is to read all raw data into Python, plot it and save as .png image file. It uses a for loop over the name list that we have created in the previous step. Finally, you can check the plotted figures under fig folder and make sure 
their title and legends are correct. That's all for the solution. Thank you very much.